but see when we are seeing something in table okay here we have a field called display okay this is one of the important for one table one value can be uh, one value can be true for display what the, what this one will do is okay just observe it here i am seeing a lookup okay so i am seeing a lookup and i could see this four okay that is fine it is showing the record now but if i select one 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 record it is ending with this one that means it's a name name of the field name of the name field in the table right you are getting it nama so see what does it mean is okay uh, if we see the record the record have so many values right it have first name it have last name it have sys id it have a name it have many things manager and all why only we can see this one where is the sys uh, where is the name the one which we are seeing it's virtual agent no virtual Ah, we are seeing this one when we selected there we are seeing this value okay why we are not seeing this value why we are not seeing this value and all maybe if you go to this table the reference table okay display equal to true will be there for this value okay when display equal to true is there for one value when you are looking up this table into some other table when you select a record okay display true whatever it is there in the column that value it will show here it is referencing to the entire record it doesn't mean like it is only getting one value it is getting the entire user table user record here but what it is displaying is only one value this is clear ma yes no please confirm Not very clear, sir. Okay, so let me uh, let me submit a record for our ticket. Okay, see here. Uh, yeah, just see like this. Right. So I am just selecting our first record in our table. Okay, first record I select, I created. Now, from the other table, I am creating a reference field. Okay, this is the other table, ma. Whenever, when I am shifting between the pages, na, don't confuse. Okay, I am in automobile table, and this is our construction table. Okay, so from automobile table, I am creating a reference field. Okay, uh, construction details. So reference field. Okay. something okay so it is meaningless don't ask me the definition okay but only see the concept so which table we need to connect our construction table hmm. now submit it okay so you are in automobile table so let's open the form okay show form okay see here construction details na look up right and open the table also here our construction table so we have only one one record right so see when i am looking up i could see the record okay and when i select it it is displaying the number here like okay so why we are displaying only number why the system is displaying only number by default number is see, display true okay but i want to display uh, apart from number i want to display customer so when i select okay a construction one okay instead of this uh, ticket number i want to display the customer of the construction request okay so i mean to say this one or i mean to say this one i want to display or something else 
okay i want to display this one so if i say display equal to true for this na so here display equal to true for that particular field then when i select a reference value okay the what you see here it will depends it will change right now you got it now uh, yes sir can you show how to nothing ma we will just say display equal to true so let's say uh okay visiting time we have the value let's say this one i am just setting it to this one okay so now let's see here refresh it here hmm. okay visiting this one is true now now go back to here let's see it should come that's what the display is meant for okay but let's see if it gives some surprises to me okay mm hmm visiting time we have not captured huh, for that record customer visiting time customer visiting time okay it's empty give me one second so it is showing this one but there is no value okay that is the reason it is showing blank customer visiting time fill out all the other values also okay okay so now it is more clear see here we need to reselect again it's already selected okay it's already selected this record okay but it is not showing because it is empty okay now the csid is referencing already na i'm just saving it now the value is there now refresh it now refresh you will get it here why i saved it na no? hmm okay so earlier the number was showing but now this value is showing okay it still even though it is showing this value okay means this value this one okay but still it is the same record the dis what you are displaying is only changed that's it it doesn't mean like you didn't change everything right still it's a reference of same record but earlier the number was showing here now the customer uh, may be visiting date is showing why because we kept the display to this field the so display equal to true is that clear ma yes sir yes okay Oh, one more thing, sir. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Ah, yes, sir. Ah, uh, when we uh, when we selected customer visiting time to true, the number is automatic. Ah, uh, the number automatically becomes false. Okay, so which number, ma'am? Okay, let's say if I make this one to true. No, no, sir. No, sir. You, you underscore number. You underscore number is automatic. Okay, let's. Uh, the answer is yes, ma. Okay, okay it automatically uh, uh, becomes only one. We can be display should be only for one. Yes. Only one for one. Okay, okay. Okay, maybe if I if I do uh, for this one or this one or this one, then uh, this one will become automatically false. That is actually the very good question. Okay, because in a reference we are only showing one one record always, right? So yes. your answer is for your question answer is yes ma'am okay sir thank you 